E3 2017 is just a month away, so let's start talking about what we could expect to see from the big three companies this year, starting with Sony. Sony! Now, the interesting thing about Sony this year is the fact that the last two E3s have been very heavily focused on a lot of games that were very much far future projections, stuff that we still don't have out yet. So just looking at that backlog of titles we already know about, there's a lot that could still be discussed at this E3 where they could have no new announcements and just focus on those games giving us release dates and showing actual gameplay, and it might very well be enough. So what games can we expect to see? Well, we're still waiting on two titles that were announced back at E3 2015, including Shenmue 3, which did get officially kickstarted, but we haven't really heard anything official since then, and the Final Fantasy VII Remake, which has gotten little bits of info here and there. We've seen a little bit of gameplay, but there's a lot of unknowns with that game still. We don't know a launch window. There's been talk of maybe selling it in episodes rather than just one complete game. There's a whole lot we still need to know about this, and it would be nice to know by now. Then from E3 2016 last year, we got a lot of games that are still not out yet and really haven't even been talked about much more beyond what we saw back then. God of War 4 had an awesome demo, but that's it. The new Spider-Man game coming from Insomniac, it was really just trailers and real gameplay would be really nice to see because a good Spider-Man game has not happened in quite some time. And of course, Death Stranding, the new game coming from Hideo Kojima that has been nothing but cryptic since its initial announcement, and we're really starting to look for some answers now. And if all that wasn't enough, we also have Quantic Dream's Detroit Become Human, which they've talked on and off about for the last few years. And at PSX, after last year's E3, we got the announcement of Last of Us Part Two and Uncharted The Lost Legacy. So, like I said, there's a lot of games they've already talked about that we need more info on. Now, before talking about what new games we could expect to see at this year's E3, I want to talk about a rumor that began circulating recently regarding the potential announcement of the PS5. Now, this rumor started circulating from an analyst who, in the past, has properly predicted both the PS4 Slim and the PS4 Pro. And really, while it seems like this might be a shorter gen cycle than most, it's really not that insanely short. I mean, both the PS1 and PS2 are around for six years, the PS3 was around for seven, but if the system does come out, the potential PS5, in late 2018, that's five years since the PS4 was released. So yes, it's a little shorter, but not by a crazy amount. Now, does this mean I think it's going to make an appearance at this year's E3? I'm not so sure about that. I mean, especially since Sony has now been having their own yearly special press conference at PSX, that almost feels like an announcement that belongs there more than at actual E3. And if we are gonna see it, it would be at most, maybe just a light head nod or one of the last things they mention to help build hype for the coming year. So, new games. What could we expect this year at E3? Well, the two biggest rumors that have been circulating recently for Sony specifically are Resistance 4 and Bloodborne 2. And of those, Resistance 4 feels a little bit more like the outside choice for me at least. I mean, it's true, we haven't had a new Resistance game since 2011, there was also Burning Skies in 2012, but that doesn't really fully count. But the reason why I'm a little unsure of that is the developer is Insomniac, who as I said earlier, is working on a new Spider-Man game. A IP that huge is probably going take a lot of dedication and I'm not sure if they're going to be juggling that alongside a new Resistance game at the same time, but I could be wrong. As for Bloodborne 2, From Software has said that they are done doing Dark Souls games for now, but Bloodborne is only a Souls-like, not part of the same series, so doesn't really apply. They have also talked about maybe working on a new IP at the same time, but that could be very well in its early stages, with Bloodborne 2 being something that's a much closer release, which I would be super excited for, because we have had Souls games basically one every year. We had Dark Souls 3 last year, Bloodborne 1 the one before that, so hopefully we'll get Bloodborne 2 for this holiday season. And lastly, while rumors have not been circulating at all, like I said back in my E3 wishlist, Sucker Punch has been really quiet the last few years. They did Infamous Second Son back in 2000... It was either end of 13 or very early 14. They released Infamous Second Son back in early 2014 with a standalone DLC called First Light after that, and nothing since. Not a word, not a peep. So I think it's about time we get something new from them. Is it a new Infamous? I hope so, but it could also be Sly Cooper, another franchise they own that hasn't been touched in quite some time. So the chances of one of those two showing up, hopefully are pretty high. So that's what we might see at this year's E3 coming from Sony. Now, in my opinion, last two years, they won E3, so it's gonna be really interesting to see how they do this time.